video. So today is we're going to do a little bit of lesson than we usually do. Um, so yesterday we finished up our writing thesis on a type or a breed of horse that we chose for our All About Horses class book. That is our final project for our mammal unit. And today we're going to do a little bit of an art lesson to learn how to draw the head of a horse for our illustrations of the book. So to get started, our materials we need are a pencil, an eraser, a canvas, or paper. Or in my case, a marker, an eraser, and a board. So we'll follow along step by step. So our first step, since we got to get started, is the how to draw a medium-sized circle in the middle of your paper. That will be our main head. The next step is to draw a smaller circle, a little below to the left, and that will be more of our nose. So now you should have two circles on your paper. Next step is we need to connect the head to the nose. The top one, make sure you have a little bit of a turn in it, because most horses have that. And the bottom one is going to have a little more of a curve. Might have been a little much for me. Alright, so now we have a head, our nose, and we are missing the neck. Because the main part of a horse is we need to have the neck, at least to show that it's the head. So from the back of your big circle, you need to have two down, front, and then one towards the front, which will turn into their chest if you were to draw the whole horse. From there, you can add the ears, which will usually be right above here, and you're gonna need a little more connect to their head. And the ear in the back will be a partial triangle, which comes down. So our next step is we have our ears, our neck, and our head. So we need our nose, which will be right here. And a horse's nose is like a teardrop with a little extra. Um, and our eye, will be within the big circle, wherever you feel best fits. So, um, then, so it does look kind of funny with the circle. So our next step is you take your eraser and you erase the lines inside of your horse's head to get that circular look out of the way. I need to make my ears a little bit bigger. All right, and then we gotta make sure the back of your neck is not a full round circle. They do have a strong chin bone. So right here, it's gonna be like that, at least a little bit. Uh, make sure that the circle within your first ear is erased. Um, then we're gonna put the inside of that ear, it's gonna be just about this. They usually have a little fur inside the ear that kind of shows the separation. Um, so for the most part, we do have our horse. And from there, it's really gonna depend on which horse you chose for your project. And your mouth, don't forget a mouth, is not going to be straight or smiling into the horse. So it's kind of like smiling. All right, so the next step is going to be depending on your horse. Some have the mane that spikes out over here, and it doesn't go over their side. So you would draw it there. Um, but others, most, will have a long mane, of which is going to lay over their neck. So then you'll want more of kind of like a wave kind of feel to the back of her and their neck, head, necks. And kind of create that hair effect. Then you're gonna to have to erase your back part of your neck so that the hair looks doesn't look as funny. Um, from there, you're behind your ears where they're gonna come down. Um, just feel like whatever your mane feels, if it's accurate or shorter or longer or a little bit of wild, but for the most part, you should be done depending on your horse's setup. And don't forget to give him some bang bangs because most horses do. And you can give a little more texture with the pencil than you can with the marker. Um, for the most part, there's your horse. 
Um, if your type of horse typically has a blaze in the middle of the nose, you can add that. Um, if they are paint, um, they might have a little bit of brown right here, maybe a little bit of brown here. Um, so it's definitely up to what kind of horse you have. From here on, it is all up to you and your type of horse. So, good luck.